hello friend today we are going to check these two card these two are uh, i got from the 5 kva pyramid ups and these basically are used to fire the scrs uh, and uh, bridge uh, control bridge diode so uh, you can see this is a type of bridge it is a bridge type uh, di uh, scr diode you can see the circum diagram it is schematic diagram so whatever i have done so i am going to check this card uh, i want to check which one is faulty which one is uh, working or not working so i am going to take one card this so here you can see there is our 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 pin you can see so pin number if we start from the left side pin number one two and three uh here we here we have to supply ac supply so one and two you need to uh, supply 18 volt and two and three you need to supply 18 volt it means for one and uh, you need a step down transformer which uh, generally produce which could be which can be uh, 20 0 20 or 18 0 18 volt so you need to supply that volt in pin number one two three pin number four will be empty uh, it, uh, that pin uh, don't have any use so the pin number five six seven these are important because uh, five number pins are negative negative and pin, pin number uh, on the very right side uh, seven number is a positive you can also see on the back side we talk about this pin is go to this side and that's positive and negative you can also see pin number is from seven six five five go to this and that is a capacitor negative so it clearly showed as that is a negative so from here we need to produce uh, some pulses you can see this is a one ratio one ratio one uh, pulse transformer are used so this will produce scare waves to trigger this uh, scr or diode and uh, for just right now i will uh, use this diode and in my upcoming video i will use scr so the connection are very simple otherwise i have done these points are ac you can see yes you need to supply in uh, you need to give input supply at these two po points and that is a negative you can see negative and this is a positive you can see so negative goes to negative of the capacitor you can see and positive goes to the positive capacitor so we are using and what i what i hold in i have used this connector negative and positive and it is for feedback like and uh, what uh, what uh, output you want at uh, uh, what other charging you want so this uh, this is using as uh, this is using for purpose of feedback and I'm, i have already have some wiring connection you should very careful while doing this because it is very dangerous and you need some trained person one thing more i want to show you the connection of the diagram this is a connector uh, which uh, is let me show uh, the pin number one and four are positive and uh, blue is negative signal you can see the connections this is pin number let me show you this is pin number one and it yes it come here at uh, gate 1 gate 2 empty gate 3 and here you can also from second one gate 4 gate 5 gate 6 these are gate pulses you can also see all of the yes so i'm going to start this process let's see what, what we have to i'm going to put this multimeter on ac and this multimeter on dc power let me show you what happened to it let me have connection you can see both multimeter are uh, set on the positions this is set on ac this is set on dc power as i already use 
this capacitor so it's showing 7.34 volt i'm using this small transformer uh, it, it is a step down transformer it is a uh, 18 0 18 voltage it is very old i'm using it for a long time so what i have done one thing more you need to be very careful while doing this you need to be uh, you have to uh, carry someone with you because it can uh, give you shock to you so i'm going to uh, first put neutral so this is neutral you we, you can touch the neutral but uh, safety is first don't take any type of risk so i just uh, turn neutral let's see i'm going to put uh, face put face you can see the voltage is 35 volt it is a it is a 35 is a uh, so you can see uh, we are getting nothing at uh, DC section in input section we have 36 volt 36 volt is here you can see yes 36 volt from left and DC supply on right and we are getting nothing it means this card is faulty some component I, I need to be replaced like uh, the IC on left side let me show you uh, it is triple uh, five IC on left side and LM324 in mid and and uh, on the right you can say it's a 435 and on a down it is a LM324 so I need to identify which IC is faulty first and uh, let's check on this card I have another one let's see what will happen just wait let me have connection so I just connect to the second card this is the first one and this is red wire for the indication for the some you know symbol type so i'm going to plug the face you can see uh, one thing more i need to tell you safety is first so please be careful while doing these things and uh, you need to, to have some uh, experienced person with you so let me Oh, sorry let me put the multimeter just wait now i have plugged the multimeters let me show you you can see input supply 30 and it's uh, just we getting dc volt as i already set it around 205 volt and uh, one thing more i am using this capacitor this capacitor have value you can see it is 200 microfarad 440 volts so uh, 204 volt is it enough you can see AC volt 36 this card is working very nice so it, this card is okay by using uh, no now i will show you in my next video how to use a cr 9216 how to fire and in my next video i will show you how to check voltage at this point how to test this card how to rectify the problem from this card so please subscribe my channel and share this video with others thank you let me one thing more uh, let's uh, just check this uh see with some load yes i have already connected a bulb so let me put uh, one thing more you need to be very careful while doing these things so have some experience person with you and yeah you can see the voltage constant as i using 200 watt the 200 watt bulb so this thing going very well i am using <laughs> i'm very careless person plus you please guys use someone experienced person and uh, don't be careless Sorry for this, uh, I will remove, rectify these things in my next video. You can see. Don't worry about this 270. It's just uh, like, like when I just put my load on this capacitor, it will just deliver the water the water volt I have set it. So when I remove the load, it just gives some spikes. So let's check the current. We check DC current. What DC current is... Uh, so I just uh, put it clamp it, you can see, 
इट्स अराउंड वन पॉइंट फाइव एम पे आर डी सी थ्रू दिस एस सी आर एंड दिस टू हंड्रेड वाल्ट वॉल्ट यूजिंग बिकॉज इट इज डी सी डेट्स वाई लोड इज मोर इफ यू इफ यू आर यूजिंग ए सी वॉल्ट दैन लोड विल बी अराउंड टू हंड्रेड so everything okay thank you thank you thank you